There is definitely a crazy, crazy storm outside. It is just horrendous. But I'm definitely glad that I picked this little one up early from Leg Scully so that we could be home because we only got caught on semi hailstones. And I did have hailstones inside my coat, my big massive winter coat. They managed to get down the back of me and I was had ice <laughs> as I grabbed her and was dragging her into the car. So we're home, we're safe. The only problem is Pabby is still at work. Oh, this is crazy lighting. And he finishes in two hours time and we have the car and I am not going anywhere on those roads. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen there. You may have to stay overnight in the office. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. So today we're gonna do a weekend vlog. It's currently Saturday. It has, <coughs> I'm losing my voice, it could be fun for the Viking. We have had a slow morning, I had a nice long lie. Mia has been dancing to her songs all morning and having Cheerios and toast and all sorts of treats. And Daddy has had a haircut, which I came in and finished off for him. So he's basically bald right now for winter. We're just kind of getting ready for the day. Last night I put a butternut squash in the slow cooker for I think it was about five hours on low so it's nice and cooked through now and I'm gonna make some butternut squash soup. I was just thinking whilst to do this I may as well vlog it because it's kind of a way of trying to hold the, these recipes together because it always annoys me when my mum used to make all these amazing dishes for us and still does but I would ask her for the recipe and she would always just reply that she flings stuff together. And actually, I just realized that I pretty much do the same now. So I'm going to try and show you what I'm putting in this. This is by no means a recipe. I'm just flinging things together, but it will be a yummy soup and definitely good for winter. First off, I'm gonna put some olive oil into the pan. One red onion, a little handful of carrots. This is basically all I had left. One red pepper, I actually had this in the freezer so I've just defrosted it under the hot tap. Something else I freeze is ginger, so when I get a big chunk of ginger there's no way we're going to go through it all. So we use it a lot in the winter time in food and in drinks. So I just cut it up and then freeze it in little Ziploc bags, so I'm going to put that in the soup as well. And in no strategic order whatsoever, <laughs> I am just going to fling everything in. So I've been sauteing the onions a little bit. The carrots are going in, the peppers go in, the ginger goes in, and just give it a good stir. And then out of our slow cooker, we're gonna take the butternut squash. Oh, I'm doing it with the other hand. I cooked it with the skin on because Jamie Oliver said that there's more nutrition in the skin, so to leave it on. So we're just gonna scoop out the insides now. I scooped all of the seeds out and took the top off and then I'm gonna add it into the soup. I'm now gonna add in two and a half pints of vegetable stock. And then because the butternut squash is already cooked, that can go in last. Looks good and the Viking even said it smells good. What are you up to? <laughs> we were making bubbles in the milk, which was a really wrong thing to teach her how to do. Oh dear, we'll regret some of the things that uh, mummy teaches. <laughs> Let's fix your hair and put a nice big warm cozy jumper on. Woo! <laughs> That's a decent amount of snow. Yeah. One, two, three.
here. Let me go. Where's Mila? There she is. Can you turn right? You see the snow? You go up. Here's the puppy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hi. Yeah, thank you. Amelia. Bye. Cuddles. Cuddles? Oh, family cuddles. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Mommy's arm isn't long enough to catch her all. Okay, we are at Etlea Ardire. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, basically today I think we're having a short walk. We both had to carry Mia because she's just decided she's tired. So I think she may have a nap soon, which is early for her, especially on the weekend. But she did sleep a lot last night, so I'm hoping that development is over and she'll be back to sleeping normal. <sighs> Mia just woke up from a very long nap and she's having a load of pancakes now. It is still snowing outside and one way to really freak your child out is to have Mickey Mouse on the TV one moment and then a log fire on it the next. One of the best things that I've probably bought for Mia this year is <laughs> just a set of lights. She is absolutely loving this. We've been playing with them all over the sitting room. She keeps pulling one end and leading me around the house. <laughs> Watch the wall. <laughs> you have to look where you're going as well. Yay! Are we not going into your room? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Into here. Yay! I got these for her little Christmas tree, but she's quite happy just playing with them. It's like a little pussycat. <laughs> Yay! Oi! Kesa, yeah, pussycat. Kesa. Woo! Are the lights going to bed? Uh huh. Lights, Lula. <laughs> I think I might actually yeah. hang them up in the yeah. canopy and then we can turn them on when we're doing like bedtime stories and things. Yeah, Mia's got lights in her bed. Lola. Oh, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> oh, poor polar bear. Got kicked. Polar bear. Polar bear. Yay. Yeah. Polola. Polola. Oh, that's so cute. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's gone out. Not allowed in bed anymore. Mia, the cool. Mia. Yeah. Mommy. The, the camera. Thank you. <laughs> Are you highly entertained by your parents and their amazing teamwork? <laughs> we have so many lights that this is what we've ended up doing. Putting them all around the window <laughs> and then we're going to take the rest and put them on this tiny little tree that we've got. But yeah, we'll make it look magical. <laughs>
Good morning and welcome to the first Sunday in Advent. Isn't that crazy? Me and I are just sat down here. We're going to do church online. We've got it up on YouTube right now. I've got my coffee, we've got our cereal and we're going to have a little church service to ourselves. <laughs> Mia. Yeah. Okay, we've finished with church. We've got dressed for the day. Little Mia is, we're trying to get her dressed. She's chosen her outfit today, featuring Peppa Pig dress, of course. And uh, Dolly is now wearing cardigan, so hopefully Mia will next okay. wear a cardigan. Okay, well, I'll a But it's always a fight to get her into the snowsuit to get out the door. Look at these post-nap cuddles. We've got the fire on. <laughs> So magical and cosy now. Snow outside, the fire on, a happy little toddler. Okay, we're gonna do our first little Christmas craft and we're gonna make an advent calendar. So this is the one that I saw on our church website. It's been going around the internet. So basically, we make a little Santa with a beard. Mia thinks we're doing painting. And we put numbers on it. And then every single day of advent, we're going to, at the numbers, put a little bit of cotton wool which we've only got circles, we don't actually have proper cotton wool, but we're gonna make up Santa Claus's beard. And it says, Santa's beard is very bare on his chin, there is no hair. So each day add a puff of white, when it's full he will come that night. Yeah, he's gonna come and see you. Give you presents. Thank you. Presents, yeah. So we're gonna start off by putting our numbers on here. Painting. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, ten, and then eleven, twelve, thirteen, two, three, two, three, two, three. 23 and then here in Iceland 24 is Christmas but we're going to put 24 and then in the UK and Scotland 25 is Christmas and now we're going to make our Santa Claus yeah. red and green okay so now we need to make a Santa face what colour is that one? green yeah green thank you thank you okay now you pick your paintbrush, which one do you want? Oh, we've got gold. Green. We've got green. And we've got red. Ooh. Orange. Orange is gold. This Orange. is a fancy one. Orange. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll do it here. Which colour do you want to do first? Red, green, gold. And do some white on here as Thank well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Yellow. Well, that, do you want yellow? Lello. Okay, ready? Here you go. Your right hand or your left hand today? Beautiful. Ellie. Yeah. Ellie. Are you doing it for Ellie? Mmm. Kertan. Yeah. And Kertan. Yeah. Mummy. Ooh, do you Mommy. want some red or some green? Green. Green. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Ooh. She put your sleeves up, she didn't we? There we go. That one and this one. Red. That's red. Yay. Yeah. Orange. Oh, cool. Yeah, orange. Oh, fabulous. So Christmassy. A good blending of colours, Mia. Hooey. <laughs> you finished? Hooey. Okay, let's do another one. Ooh, it's like a Big rainbow. Need some green. Should we put some green? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Yay. Do you want some white? Some snow? Red. White. Can you reach? Red. Red. There you go. <laughs> Are you being left handed for this painting? Oh, <laughs> all over mummy's <laughs> hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Mia painting. Mia's painting. Yeah. No, we're good. No, we're Okay, are you finished? Thank you. 
So Mia now has a bobble and is discovering the wonderful world of glitter. And we now have a hat for Santa. We'll put this here and then we'll make his face and his moustache. The first Sunday in Advent. Here we go. And we're having a lovely family dinner. I'm going to fix something for the fourth candle but we've got our three Sundays there. And we'll figure it out as we go. We've got a yummy dinner of basically chicken with ginger and some spices. Yeah, and we've got little Peppa Pig here. Yeah, and all of this glory. <laughs> Me, what's this? Apple. Yeah. And what's this? Broccoli. Yeah. And that's our finished little advent calendar for Mia. So if you want to make this with your children, you'll probably only need maybe two, three pieces of paper. So red, white, something for the face. I only had yellow, so it doesn't really matter. And then a different color. You could just use red again for the numbers and then write the numbers in the shape of the beard. And then I don't have the actual cotton wool ball, so we've just used pads and I've just taped them onto here so we've got them ready and there's 24 there and then I put her little painting on the side so that she will recognize her little artwork because <laughs> she's too young to have made a lot of this and I'm gonna put this on the wall ready for tomorrow.